Welcome back Future Medicos. Do you know that now we have more than 1 lakh MBBS seats in India. Now as per NMC website, the number of MBBS seats available in India has crossed 1 lakh. So we are going to look at each state how many seats are available, how many seats are available in government colleges, how many seats are available in private colleges, uh, how many colleges are available, the number of colleges, right? We are going to look at all these and then finally, we will also look at what is the total number of seats as of today as shown in NMC website, right? The data is extracted from NMC website. So these data may change towards the admission window. This number is likely to go up slightly more than this. But as of now, for this admission window, that is 2023-24 admission year, we have more than 1 lakh MBBS seats. With that good news, let me explain state-wise how many seats are available. Okay, as you can see, I have uh, ranked the um, states according to the total number of seats available. So, Tamil Nadu uh, tops the chart. It has the maximum number of uh, medical colleges in India and also it offers the maximum number of MBBS seats in India. So Tamil Nadu has 38 government medical colleges in which there are 5,225 MBBS seats. The closer is Maharashtra, it has 5,075 seats whereas uh, Tamil Nadu offers 5,225. Number of private colleges including private colleges uh, private universities and deemed universities, we have 34 colleges in Tamil Nadu and they offer 6,000 MBBS seats. So all in all, totally we have 72 colleges in Tamil Nadu which offers 11,225. At the second place, we have Karnataka which has 3,500 common MBBS seats and when it comes to private colleges, Karnataka is the number one. They offer the maximum number of private colleges. You can see that they have 43 private colleges and they offer 7,495 MBBS seats through private colleges. Once again, when I say private colleges, I'm talking about private colleges, deemed universities and private universities, right? So totally, Karnataka is very close to Tamil Nadu, is offering nearly 11,000 MBBS seats. At the third place, we have Maharashtra which has 5,075 government seats and 5,220 private seats. So totally they also have more than 10,000 seats for MBBS. At number four, we have Uttar Pradesh, which offers 9,200 MBBS seats. Then we have Telangana at number five, which offers close to 7,000 MBBS seats. Then we have Gujarat, which offers 6,450 MBBS seats. Andhra Pradesh, close to 5,600 MBBS. Rajasthan, around 5,000 seats. Then West Bengal has 4,825. West Bengal, you can see that predominantly they have government colleges, 3,825 seats. And then about 1,000 seats come from private colleges. Then Kerala, Kerala also has a lot of private colleges. Nearly they have 21 private colleges with 2,750 uh, MBBS seats. And totally they have about 4,500 MBBS seats. Probably this is one reason why Kerala is very competitive because they don't have a lot of government colleges. Then Madhya Pradesh, uh, almost like equal number of seats in government and private. And totally they have about 4,200 seats. Bihar, uh, totally they have 2,565 MBBS seats. Orissa has 2,325 MBBS seats. Chhattisgarh has 1,915 MBBS seats. Haryana has 1,835. Punjab has 1,750. Pondicherry has, of course, Pondicherry is a small place. It has two government colleges, 386, which includes Jipmer Pondicherry. Uh, Okay, here I think Jipmer Pondicherry and Jipmer Karakal probably is combined a single college. Uh, I, I think so. Uh, it is not treated as two different colleges. That's why it shows only uh, two colleges because they have Indira Gandhi Medical College, Jipmer Puducherry and Jipmer Karakal. So I believe uh, NMC website combines Jipmer Puducherry and Jipmer Karakal, if I'm not wrong. Okay, anyway, it's 380 seats, but they have 1,250 private seats. A lot of private seats in comparison to government. So totally they have 1,630 seats. 
Delhi, uh, 1,500 approximately. Assam, there is no private college. They have all 1,250 seats under government colleges. Uttarakhand, about 1,150. Jammu and Kashmir has 1,147 MBBS seats. Jharkhand has close to 1,000. Himachal Pradesh has 920. Manipur has 525 MBBS seats. Tripura has 225. Goa, there is only one college with 180 seats. Dadra Nagar Haveli has only one uh, college with 177 seats. Sikkim, only one private college with 150 seats. Chandigarh, 150 seats. Andaman and Nicobar Islands uh, has one college with 114 seats. Mizoram, 100 seats. Meghalaya, 50. Arunachal Pradesh, 50. Right? That is the number of uh, seats available in individual states. If you look at the total number of colleges, we have 359 government colleges, maybe 360 uh, because Jikmar Puducherry and Jikmar Karakal, I would take it as two. So approximately 360 and the total seats as of now, the government colleges, we have close to about 53,000 seats. Here you need to take note that some states, they have like government society, for example, Gujarat, they have some government colleges and they have some government society kind of colleges. Uh, both are included and they come to 53,000 seats. Private colleges are roughly about 300 and they offer about 48,000 MBBS seats. So slightly government colleges are slightly more but more or less, right? Not a big difference is about 52.5% uh, and 47.5% distribution. Uh, total number of colleges about 650 plus colleges and total number of seats the count as of today we have about 1,13,000 seats are available. So that's the summary we have 1 lakh plus seats and uh, uh, the states in the southern area have a lot of impact like Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, um, Telangana, right? Uh, Andhra Pradesh, these are all colleges that have a lot of seats available. And that's why uh, you, you can even see the private colleges. These states offer a lot of private colleges, right? I hope this information is useful to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.